Hi guys, welcome back. Since we're all self-quarantined, we figured we would take the opportunity to show all of you our self-care slash skin routine because yes. we're all at home, so might as well take advantage of the time yeah. and take care of our skin. Let our skin breathe, it's perfect. So we're gonna start off with a exfoliating lip scrub and just like all over face um, exfoliator. So we did a DIY lip scrub, which we will put the little um, ingredients right here and you guys can do it yourself because it's so good, it never fails, and it makes your lips feel amazing. Especially this time of year when you have like cruddy lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine always seem to be it's dry. It's so bad really. this time of year. So this is a great way to take advantage of the time and make your lips and all it good. It smells so good. This one's a spray, so I'll just spray it and then rub it. And it's really crazy because you can literally see the skin come off. I don't wanna see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, step one, and then I will go straight into cleansing. So we're gonna talk about two different types of cleansers. One is a gel cleanser and one's more of a cream cleanser. The difference between these two cleansers are your skin type. With the gel cleanser, you wanna be using this on a more oily skin type, um, maybe more prone to acne. Um, and the cream cleanser, you're gonna be using this for more of a dry skin. It's gonna be more hydrating. It's a good thing because I have super dry skin and Grace has oily skin. Oily skin. So we both use different products, so we're kinda of give you gonna give you a rundown of what we both use since they are different from each other. And I use a cream cleanser, which is nice for dry skin because it's not as harsh on your skin. It's a little bit more sensitive and also moisturizes a lot more. Yeah, and I use a gel cleanser. Um, this one's Bare Minerals and I really like it. It just really helps um, just get a little bit deeper. All right, so I like to cleanse my face and um, use circular motions with my fingers and this just increases blood flow. And I normally just use the two middle fingers because they are the easiest on your skin. That way I'm not pulling or tugging anywhere. Okay, so we just washed our faces off and we are all cleansed. Is there anything you want to add to? <laughs> yes, I wanted to add, make sure you wash your neck too. Um, I feel like we're always yes. putting makeup on I it. I always forget, oh, always. I always forget, <laughs> so don't forget ladies. <laughs> okay, what's your next step? So my next step is toner. Mm -hmm. um, keeping your skin a, at a good pH is really important because you know, if it gets too dry, um, then that's when you can also be more prone to acne and different things like that. Just toning the pH of your skin is really important. And then I'm gonna be using a Renewal Serum. It's for skin longevity. It's great for after cleansing. It kind of plumps your skin a little bit so that your moisturizer can sink all the way into your pores, which is great for me because I have very dry skin. Yeah. And this one is by Bare Minerals. My toner is um, Young Living. It's part of the art series. I like it just because it's really clean and simple ingredients. It smells amazing. And again, I'm just using my two middle fingers because I tend to be a little bit more hard on my skin. So I try to use my two middle fingers just so I'm not pulling or tugging. And I'm using a cotton round. Okay, so I like to make sure my skin is fully dry from the toner before I do the next step. So next step, and mine is going to be moisturizer and it is the Bare Minerals Pureness. And I love this one. It's really great for dry skin and it's very lightweight. So the next step for me is a Renewal Serum, and it is from the Art Series in Young Living as well. Um, it is great, it just helps promote um, like cell regeneration and all that good stuff. Keeps me looking young. Okay, so the next step for me is a moisturizer. Um, and Josie, what are you using? I'm going to be using an eye cream. I have really bad bags under my eyes, so an eye cream is super important for me, and I also, like it really helps with the darkness, so yeah, it's a good product. One thing I wanted to mention, um, as we touched on before, I do have oilier skin, and um, I definitely struggled with acne and have come a long way in my skincare journey. But that being said, I used to think, okay, well, my skin's oily, why would I put a moisturizer on? Like, isn't that just making it more oily? But again, as I talked about pH and all that, 
If your skin is too dry, the oil is going to overcompensate and that's how you're going to break out more. So even though I'm not going to be using a super heavy moisturizer, I definitely want to be using a light moisturizer and just making sure that my skin is staying hydrated. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on my two forefingers and then just lightly put it under my eyes and on my eyelid right under my brow. And then really quick, I just wanted to share that my skincare does change a lot, especially if my skin feels more dry than other times and I will use the Adele Luxury Skin Care Line because it's super clean and it's just super, super moisturizing for your skin. So if you have very dry skin, this is an awesome product. Yeah. And it's also good for oily skin too because it kind of balances it out. Yeah. Like she was saying, um, right. not moisturizing can sometimes make oily skin even worse. So this is a great product and it's what I use if I'm gonna go super in depth with my skincare routine. Yeah, well and as she mentioned, like it changes and even just like winter and summer, my skincare routine doesn't look the same. So, you know, I might be using something super hydrating and moisturizing in the winter and going more lightweight in the summer. So yeah. those are great products, absolutely. So I'm gonna be using um, an energizing eye cream. Um, I like to use this in the morning if you wake up and you still have some dark circles or anything like that. It can help eliminate those and just make you look refreshed and ready to go. Um, and this is the Aveda Botanical Kinetics um, Energizing Eye Cream. It's just what I have on hand, but I love that they are natural products. So any natural line will do. So I'll just use my four fingers and just go under my eye. All right, so last but not least, I wanna to touch on face masks. So because is, we all love a girl's night and a good face mask, so. Yeah, and especially take now the that time we're to do it now. <laughs> um, we've got all the time, right? So, yes. yes, this is not something you wanna be doing every day or, you know, depending on your skin, even every week. This is just, if I feel like I've, you know, flown recently or traveled or done different things and my skin is just really, been through the ringer, I'll want to detoxify. So this is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay um, Clay Mask. So I will mix this with water and apply it. Um, I leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes normally. It's super easy. We will link this in the description below. I think I found it on Amazon and it's only around $7. So definitely take this one home. Yes, and for all of us asking for products, we will try to link all of them in the description below. And if we can't find one that we use in this video, we will link a similar option. Absolutely. And yes, one thing I wanted to add about the Aztec mask is um, it is really deep pore cleansing and it can dry you out. Um, so just make sure that you follow it up with a really good moisturizer. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this little skincare routine with us. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Have a good day. Thanks, guys.